A very warm welcome to Tech Mining. In the previous tutorials, we created separate pages for report and form. Here we will create report and form side by side. With this interface not only you can view all the details on a single page, but it also allows you to modify existing records and add new ones. So let's get started. Execute the following steps to take a look of database table used in this video. This table contains all data regarding employees. This data tab contains all records stored in this database table. Let's create a page to properly display this data to users. Select Interactive Grid option. Enter a page number. And a meaningful name. This page will be a normal page. Leave other options, and use the following local source query. These queries used in this video, contains a file link in video description, in part 7 folder. Click the create page button. After creation set the following attributes for the page. This Mark Q template used here provides a collapsible right side column and a title bar area which contains primary information. This CSS code will set the width of this right side panel to 375 pixels. Set the interactive grid's title to employees. its static ID to employees list. In the attributes node, turn off select first row property. Expand this interactive grids columns node. Click this employee number column. And turn on its primary key property, if not, a JavaScript code mentioned in highlight record dynamic action won't highlight last saved record. And set this format mask property. Create a new region. Set the following attributes for it. This hidden item in the details region will hold employee's ID. In the details region add these three text field items.
These select list item will show a list of managers. When you select a record in the interactive grid, this dynamic action will fire to display details of the selected employee in the details region. This true action will set values for the page items on the details form through JavaScript. These following two buttons are of the details region. This add button will make the form fields empty, while the save button will write modified and new data to the employee table. This CSS code used in the custom attributes will appropriately place the two buttons. Create a new dynamic action to make text field items empty in the details region, when you click the add employee button to create a new record. Add one more dynamic action, which fires at page load to highlight the record that was last modified or added. In this code you are selecting an interactive grid view row based on a page items value page 48 employee number, which gets refreshed for existing records using the JavaScript code specified here. For new records, the item is refreshed in the PL SQL code that follows this step. Finally create a process to save new and modified employees data. The replace function in the PL SQL code is used to remove comma thousand separator from the salary field. Click this save button to save your work. Everything is set. Let's test our work. This is the report which is based on the employees table. This one on the right side is the input form. When you click a record in the report, the form get updated to show the record.
you can modify the selected record in this form. After modification click this save button. The modified values are reflected immediately in the report and the record is highlighted as well. You can add a new record using this add button. When you click this button, the form is refreshed to accept new values. The new record is also highlighted through the JavaScript code we added in the dynamic action. Thanks for watching.